I wanted to identify some of the people that have been important that you've been talking about in your summit who have those characteristics that give them character, that allow them to be leaders, whether it's in business or in another area of life. Because I think it really matters. I think when, you know, we live in a world right now where there's a lot of um, uh, division and argument. And when you meet people who seem to have a certainty and a humility and are willing to learn to go forward and to work with others and do interesting things in a range of fields, they really do stick with you. And I think we can learn from them. I, can, I think we can learn from how they think and that can help us all learn to think. I'm going to start with Gina Cody because I didn't know who she was until someone said we should talk to her because, you know, she's just had her name on an engineering school and no woman in the world has an engineering school named after her. And Gina Cody um, was already an engineer when she came from Iran. She had her undergrad degree and she wanted to continue to study. She ends up climbing to the top of a, of, of a major construction engineering company. The thing that, that really impressed me was then when she gets the position where she's the boss, she changes the culture for the women. She let women who had children after they had children after Matt leave stay home, like work from home, and that they would work hard from work. So she changed the culture of the company. And it's a really good example of how you can have the society you want, right? When you have some power, you can actually use it to influence in a good way. Nice Nylante Langetti, she has been an activist for, you know, since she was six years old because she's been fighting FGM. She's Maasai from Kenya, and um, in her culture, um, the FGM um, happens when the girls are six or seven. She was living with her grandfather because her parents were dead. She was terrified of this. But she lobbied her grandfather not to do it, not to have it done to her so she could stay in school longer. And then she realized at some point that the other girls were having this done, but she started to talk to them and they started to talk to their parents. And she realized the value and the benefit of numbers. If it was just her, she would be seen as a problematic kid. But if it was all the girls, they might listen. And in the end, they've changed the culture and she proposed an alternate culture. She just didn't say, don't do this. She recognized that there's a culture there about um, celebrating young girls um, in other ways as well. And so she said, well, get rid of the physical aspect of this and let's celebrate with the dancing and the ceremonies and all of that. And so it's a process. She started working with a big NGO at some point, but she didn't start with an NGO. She started by herself. So was she a leader who was born? Maybe, I mean, sometimes you just run across somebody who is, they, they are so incredible as a person and they face something and they just automatically stand up to it. I think that's extraordinary. I do think she will probably grow as a leader though. Um, so that idea that leaders continue to grow, I think is true too. I would suggest Jennifer Dudna who uh, is a co-discoverer of CRISPR-Cas9, which allows for a very efficient and cheap and uh, definitive uh, gene editing, gene splicing, which can be used on everything from crops to the animals that are raised, farm animals, but it can also be used um, to get rid of human diseases, we hope. At the time she came out as the co-discoverer of this, she was at the same time raising the ethical issue. You know, as a scientist, she was excited. This is what you live for, she said. At the same time, she understood that society needs to understand it and society needs to make decisions on how to use it. And I really admire that, that somebody who's doing it sees right away the ethical um, implications and the ethical hurdles. That's leadership, that's judgment and um, collaboration because it's about society deciding, not just a finite group of scientists. It's also integrity. It's, it's a combination of those things that really surround that judgment and that strength of character.